over here. I noticed from the car my being what it's like to watch the caregiver, my family members, my mother. For a solid year, our guest room was never empty. I had somebody coming in, somebody to help. And all I could think about was Brian and the men and women who sacrificed so much and then they got blown up at war, defending our freedoms. Their families may have signed up for it, but they didn't sign up for what they had to endure. And essentially, I think what, um, you know, it's funny, uh, 80, I think it's 84% of military families uh, believe that the American public has no idea what they go through. This isn't general, this isn't even. And uh, I think it was up until 2011, uh, if I have this correct, I don't believe that caregivers were even given a stipend. And somebody had to make a living, so what did they do? And uh, so Stephanie and I were sitting at home, my dear friend, and uh, we had a conversation one day, and Stephanie wanted to do something. You know, she's a producer, and she, she, from the bottom of her heart, she wanted to do something for these guys. And the subject came up, and uh, Stephanie ran it, ran, she just ran with it, and she made it happen. And you know, the, 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 you know, our veterans, our wounded veterans, our military families, they deserve all the accolades in the world. They are the heroes that come back with our unsung heroes. And those are the caregivers of the family, their families, their children that have to grow up too soon. It's the, the caregivers, the women who don't have a husband anymore, the, you know, the, the, the wives, you know, the, the husbands that don't have wives, and the wives don't have husbands, and they're patients now, and, and they're caregivers, and they're nurses, and they don't know how to be a nurse. And the relationship and the dynamics change, and, and there is literally a secondary condition that, that evolves from all of this, and, and it's um, secondary PTSD, and it is uh, an actual verified condition now, something that they're, they're now acknowledging. And uh, if this film in any way can, uh, uh, you know, help share the, what's behind closed doors, uh, then I think hopefully we've done our job, and it's just the beginning, so thanks. Thank you.